All right, Starcom Unknown Space. Uh, it's an action RPG of space exploration and, and, and adventure. There is Starcom Nexus, which came out a few years ago. Um, I played it. I played it in 2019 when it whenever it came out, and the dev has been busy uh, building an, a new one here. So we've got a new one that comes out here in a couple of months. Uh, but they gave me some early access to check this thing out. It's open world. Uh, uh, open open world is a funny word to use for a space game. Open space game where we're going to grab our ship, fly it around. We can upgrade our ship in time by putting bips and bobs on there and fly around. We've got different factions and things. And uh, I guess this one, it's very similar, as in like the sort of same style as as uh, Starcom, but it like um, it's sort of built on that old Starcom thing. If you're, oh, there's, there's the word I'm trying to say right now. If you're familiar with Starcom Nexus, then this is not a direct sequel, but it's a brand new story. Yep, it's, for those of us not familiar, those of you not familiar with Starcom, it is a top-down uh, Diablo in space. There you go. With plenty of bips and bobs. Let's try it out. And uh, I'm, I'm always up for some space time. And uh, I'm going to build my spaceship. And uh, this one looks pretty good. I, I just dabble with this just a bit. Just kind of get things set up in audio and all that kind of stuff. And it, it's, um, it looks good. So let's try a new game. And my name is not Sam Ganymede. My name is, you can just call me, just call me, you know what? You can just call me Commander, Commander, I'm Commander Captain. Look, Commander Captain. It's important you still call me that. Uh, no, no, not Ganymede. Ganymede, no, no, no. It's just Ganymede nonsense. Captain. There you go. Uh, I fly the Bob Ross. So my name is Nook Captain now. I think it's going to ease us into the game with some uh, tutorial -y things. I don't if it did before, anyway. All right, receive our first set of orders. A abandoned cargo ship has broken apart and spilled its cargo nearby. Let's go get it. We use WASD to fly this thing around. And we can zoom out a long way. Uh, we can, like, middle click to go to space. And I think this is just like, it, it's, it's big, I believe. So let's go fly over that way. We can hit Z to open our console, which we've got our mission there. Abandoned Cargo Hollow spilled its contents near Maya Alpha 2 inside the security zone of the Starcom base. Go figure out if there's anything hazardous there. We'll go fly over there. It's our log. Um, I think, like, crew is an important part of this one is one thing it mentioned. And they'll, like, level up or something. And that's, that's that there. Uh, there's my ship uh, stuff. And uh, let's go head on over there. Thing that 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 state that ship hum reminds me. One thing I I just recently watched Next Generation. I watched all through Next Generation, and one thing I I realized while watching it this time is like there's just like this there's a constant like ship hum, like the whole show. Anytime they're on the ship, there's this hum that goes on, and it's it's a very I think there's like there's something to that hum. I think it's like sparks the nostalgia feel you know with that show and that just that that's that warp hum or whatever anyway we're closing in on these uh on these these uh this debris or whatever uh and there's our ship we're gonna go ahead and investigate this fella after boarding the disabled disabled ship the crew command downloads the ship's manifest to the main computer cargo contents miscellaneous waste collected from salvage of alcyon station Abandoned effects, special effects, uh, growing soil with metal contaminants, uh, deuterium, xenium, some volatile xenium. Okay. Destroy the containers with plasma cannons by doing this. My gun just sort of goes wherever I point my mouse. You can see it kind of spinning around. It's kind of small, but you can see it spinning around. Like that. Uh, don't blow anything up too close to you because it will blow you up, which is what happened to me in the uh, early version here, or in my, my test game. Scan that gas giant. Ooh, it's blue. No anomalies there. What's my uh, what's my quest here? Someone spilled cargo. Uh, carefully try to clear as much as we can. Okay. How much wants me to blow up? Good. Okay. Uh, priority emergency beacon on Starcom Alpha open hyperwave. Maya station asking immediately nearby ships. Uh, nearby ships immediately report there. Cleanup operation has to wait. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's go. Cool shit, but it's tiny. There's my station. There's, I guess, curious things. We just passed by one back there. I head over to our station over here and see what uh, what that's all about. And that helm. It's, I like it. Something about that helm. Here we go. Hello, station. Are you having trouble? Troubles? Thank you for responding to our priority message. Normally, this would go through Starcom Fleet HQ, but we have an urgent situation. Received an emergency beacon from our outpost on the other side of the quantum wormhole. They must have a critical emergency. I need you to activate the two nearby neutrino generators that will expand the wormhole large enough for us to get through to them. I know you haven't been briefed on this, but Bob Ross was the closest Starcom vessel. Any questions? Uh, I have many questions. Project is classified for reasons I can't go into, but I can't order I can't order you to help us, so I'll tell you what I can. Well, where does it go? The wormhole? Primordial wormhole formed during our universe's inflationary epoch. Okay. Okay. Uh, for where it leads, I can't say. Partly because Starcom Defense Division has classified the information, but always also because I don't actually know. What's it so secret for? Reasons for this project being classified are also classified, I'm afraid. Right, it's classified, it's classified. Okay. Frankly, I think Defense Division haven't made a major project under their control in a while. It's gone to their heads. According to research papers, the wormhole may lead to a universe that was separated from ours during the early expansion of the universe. We sent Solano Station through a month ago, and they have begun studying the region. Okay. Takes a huge amount of energy to expand the wormhole large enough to send ships through. So normally we won't only expand it for supply runs. Okay. No, yeah, don't don't you worry. I got it, buddy. I got it. Bob Ross at your service. Quantum wormhole is like way better than a regular wormhole. Regular wormholes are just like Oh, I mean, garbage, basically. Yeah, that low background, like brown noise or whatever. Gray noise. Hum. That's one of the stabilizers. 800 terawatts. That's a lot of watts. Surprised they're not quantum terawatts. Let's go pick this guy up. I kind of want to get... What happens if I go in here? Oh, well, hello. Well, what are you doing that for? Those are my friends. You stop it. What the fleck? <laughs> Whatever it is, just punched through my station like it, like their neutronium hole was aluminum. By the way, our hole is made of aluminum. I'm going in. Strong gravitational pull to wormhole. Trying to compensate. No, no, no. We're going in. We're going to get that guy. This just showed that the warp field holding the wormhole open is collapsing. It does look good, doesn't it? Looks real good. Uh, Alright, well, we got a station over there. We got a question mark over there. Let's go to the... To, um, so the wormhole is still there, but it's collapsed down to Planck scale. This is... This is... The story is different from the other Starcom game. Check the Starcom beacon on our scanners. It's marked its position on your HUD. Must be the station that Mai's command had mentioned, so we gotta go fly over here to the secret, secret station. There it is. What'd you guys let those, uh, the, that big ship big scary ship crew for. Should have said something. Okay. Station notices are offline for maintenance. Of course they are. Uh, you. Welcome. Uh, uh, I uh, assume your presence means Maya picked up our emergency beacon. I hope Bob Ross is just the very small tip of a much larger spear of reinforcements coming soon. Yes. Yes is my answer. Sounds ominous. Go on. Fill the Commodore in with... Yeah, yeah. Bad things, buddy. Bad things just happened. reason we sent the emergency beacon is that recently we've come under attack by vessels of unknown origin. We're calling them Red Raiders. 
Surely you can come up with something better than that. Based on our markings and lack of any other information. Uh, now you're telling me there's another threat that cuts us off from support? Uh, it doesn't seem anything that we can be done about it. Uh, we can deal with the ships that have been attacking us. They're not terribly powerful. And Solano's guns have kept them at bay. We have a research outpost under development in, on an inner planet. Only support ship on this side of the wormhole is out of comms range. Given these attacks and the lack of imminent reinforcements, I'll need your help. Can do. You'll need a survey lander. I've had uh, Lieutenant Milton start making modifications on Bob Ross. See him in the shipyard. Get your people back safe. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright. As per uh, Commander. Is that Commander? C-A-D-R-E? Commodore? Maybe? No. C-D-R-E? Commodore? Gotten Bob Ross a bit more combat ready. Still needs a survey lander. Select utilities from the module and drag it onto me. Utilities. Utilities. Here. This guy gets popped on there somewhere. Oh, yeah. It's actually a piece of my ship that gets popped on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Green if it's a valid connection. So we like we could, like, slap this thing up here. We could put it over on this side. Let's throw it over there. Just because it's weird. I want to see... Uh, we, we don't want, see, you know, crooked ships. But we're also going to conduct planetary survey landings. You should feel free to experiment with different ship designs. We have a lossless reclamator. You won't lose any resources. Drag one off and pop it around. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. My scout bridge is there. Oops. I need to go away. Uh, what do we have? Um, connectors. What did we lose? I think it was just a connector. Neat. All kinds of stuff we can do with this. Rearrange everything here. My gun's on the side. I want an engine there, and I want an engine there. Let's get... Um, a big bulkhead there. And we'll throw on another engine. And then my, my, uh, my guns... I'm going to slap in over here. Now, I want one of those crooked fellas. That's not going to work. It's just like a connector thing. Sure. That one out of here. Let's get a... Um... Yeah, rotate you. Right there. That's what we want. Going from the Bob Ross to the Bob Sled. <laughs> I want another one of these. Can I buy one of these? No, I don't have enough. I got a couple more things. Oh, my survey lander. I forgot about it. Um, where am I going to put this thing? <laughs> Slap it in right there. I'm not happy about it. Uh, it'll do, though. We can put in... Uh, that's all we've got, right? That's everything? Yeah, it's okay. I need like a, I need like a good, put a sticker right there. For, well, that's kind of dumb looking, isn't it? Well, where's this thing supposed to go? Let's get rid of it. Could buy another one of these. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. No guns on the sides. Nothing up front. I like it. Um. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, Milton, what can I do for you? Tell me about the ship that's destroyed it. Uh, ship design. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go do the mission. So our mission is go and um, evacuate the outpost on the inner planets. Got it. Okay, there's cargo stuff. We've got no crew on my ship. It's just me. So I, if they may, they may rotate, but I don't know how to do it. So there we go. Oh, what a dumb looking ship. <laughs> it's hideous. Okay, let's fly over here. I need just one more part right there. Oh yeah, we'll scan that planet. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, we got bad guys. Hostile ships. I'm a little scared. Because there's two of them. 
Ow! Oh yeah, bring him in. That was mine. Oh, credit for that one. Give me them bits. Energy and holes kind of behind my behind my my head here. I'm a little smoky at the moment. Let me see if I can lure this guy in here. I don't see my. I guess holes at 97 percent. Got him. I think I'm all fixed up. Let me go uh, dock in here real quick. And shipyard and my max health. Size 14, max health 25. I got 86 hit points. Did that, did that change? Whenever I added things in here, did that did that change? What's that? What was that? What was that thing? Oh, a big battery. Like, let's say I take this off. Oh, it does. My 80, my hit points are now 81 if I take this thing off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave it up there. Okay. Are they ship designs? Oh, yeah. Look at these. Okay. See, my current? It's called the Bob Ross. Okay. Now, let's get back out there and finish our mission. How's it going, Adam Wolf? Just finished my Stardius VOD. Uh, if my my next one, if it gets done processing on YouTube, I'll have it tomorrow. I'm not sure if it'll be done in time, though. Like a RimWorld planet? Yeah. I mean, all planets, I guess, kind of look the same. All sci-fi stuff. Cruise mode, we can hit C. Yeah, I did see that before. So we can hit C without having to hit W. So here's our planet. We got people on this planet that need saved. It's like a rackus. Survey team. I think we missed. Oh, there it goes. Ground team is disappointed to abandon the to abandon the outpost. Apparently, they have just unearthed an alien object with markings similar to an artifact near in space near Solano. Solino, Solano. But they conduct a, the evacuation with professional efficiency and rush their staff, and materials, and objects aboard the lander. Okay, get back to the ship. Okay, now, I do have cargo now. I have an alien device on board. Can I analyze this thing? Research points. Transform geometric information from Euclidean space to an esoteric representation of warp space. Man, techno battle. I like it. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get Let's get back. Z, got that one done. I'm way ahead of you. Have a good one, Adam. So, yeah, let's, let's buzz down here to the station. Maybe we can get some more bits we can add on to our ship. I need a gun on the front, like a, a big gun on the front. Okay. Well done, Captain. Given our shortage of Starcom vessels here, you and your ship will need to take an outsized role. Till Starcom re reopens the wormhole and sends reinforcements, establishing outposts is a lower priority than strengthening our defenses. Authorizing you to make full use of the resources recovered from the outpost to outfit Bob Ross. I'll talk to our research chief about getting you access to the lab as well. Excellent. Excellent. Unless you have anything else? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. Send me that lab. Okay, so I've got all kinds of... i got a bunch of stuff here now. So now we can start building some things. Now I can get... Batteries. Another survey lander. I think I just want uh I want guns. I want a gun at the front. Rotate is A and D. There it is. What was the other what was the other button? Let's go there. It fixes itself. Okay. There's that. Uh I feel like maybe we need some of these little deflectors that kind of go in like in here somewhere. I can't buy another one of those, though. Maybe we, we forget that. And we buy... Micro-reactor. Seems useful. I don't need a survey lander, but a battery... Uh, we had, I did have some energy problems when I was trying to, to fire that guy. 
Reactor probably shouldn't be in the front. I can't just like replace it though. I don't want to do that. It's going to remove everything if I do that. Put the reactor in there. And we'll put in the battery on this side. Okay. Engine there. Engine there. Gun there. We can put some small wings in. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what about my wings at? I want another one. I don't want just one. It looks dumb with just one. Okay, we'll save my money for an extra wing when I can get one. How much do these cost? They cost 10 titanium. I only have 14. Okay. Okay. Uh, armor, these are 25 aluminum. 2 iridium. I only have 2 iridium, so we can only afford one mini deflector. I could I could put this thing on... Well, not really. It doesn't really fit where I want it to. I could be, that would be weird. We just like stick it there or something. Or slap it over on that side. Just to have it in here somehow. Sounds like a waste. We're just gonna we're gonna wait. I could get rid of one of these guys for 25 aluminum. Oh, here we go. We get rid of this. There's a slightly reduced directional damage coming from their outer side. So it's only like gonna hit if something hits there. Let's do this. And put in That maybe? And then we can we put the gun on, on the No. But if I put the gun in first, then put the deflector in. Eh? Yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can shoot on the other side of that. We have enough ir iridium now to put like Do something like um, protect our sides, you know? You know? That's more like it. I like that. That that I like. Wings were too much titanium. Okay. Okay. Rama. Uh, Dr. Rama, I'm head of the of Seleno's research projects. We've spent the last month studying the nearby artifacts and looking for clues in its operation of nearby planets. Uh, Commodore whatever face uh, you just notified me that defense reasons were redirecting our priorities and I'm to place my lab at your disposal. Incidentally, that's a figure of speech. You don't have to break anything. Uh, Alright, I'll do my best. I'm free to do nothing at all, but your best will suffice. You know, you have to be a jerk. Uh, given my new directives, the object uncovered has given us some research data that you can put to work. Meet me in my lab. I'll educate on the facilities. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I thought it wasn't going to be helpful. Ooh, research. Okay, interface shows us research technologies available. Use it to redirect our computer's research. Recommend at least researching turbo thrust. Speed up your exploration significantly. Maybe I'll listen to you. Maybe I won't. Question mark. Tech. Tractor beams, scanners, universal translators. There's going to be aliens out here. Okay. Oh, you know, Dr. Rama, I'm going to have problems. Okay, I can get Scanner Mark 1. As well, as well. Uh, yeah, Bob Ross is one of uh, our only vessels in this space. You'll need a full command crew with ma for maximum efficiency. I sure will. Some of the team members you have evac evacuated from the outpost have volunteered. They have been added to your crew roster, which you can review at any time. They're a bit green. That's okay. Not easy being green. Detected some ship movement around a nearby gla gra uh, gas giant. Some activity on the surface of one of the moons. Take Bob Ross in and check it out. There's some red raiders there. Really, like some better name of that. That's a terrible name. Okay, so I've got a crew now, right? I do. I have um, all kinds of cadets is what we have. Uh, how do, so you're, at, you're good at diplomacy. You're good at, at tactics and observation. Do I do anything with you? It's just sort of a crew totals. That are in here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the Their combined skills determine the anomaly outcomes. Okay, you can view more details by clicking on its icon. There we go. Okay, okay. Um, okay, well, let's uh, let's get out of here then. Are we supposed to have this thing still? Let's go check out Turbo Thrust. Where are we heading to? 
There. We can hold, what was it? T? Wasn't it T? What was it? Turbo left shift. Toggle turbo thrust T. Auto th auto thrust is C. Oh, oh, maybe we have to... Okay, maybe we have to hit C first. And then T. Yeah. And yeah, we can do this. See where we're going here. My, uh, hang on. I just realized. I went in here. I changed my settings. Okay. There we go. Uh, Justin. Thanks for following. There they are. Okay. Ooh, I got some guns now. Take that. Lead the target. Nice. Comet, Comet's nice. Look at that ship design's what's doing me good here. Got something else up here too. No, just my target, maybe. Ooh, is that a space station? Hello. Okay. Repairs in progress. We're at 90% hole 91. Seems like we can get pick fixed up pretty quick. Nothing there. What was my mission? That's the point where activity was detected. Is that what I just was? Oh, so survey team. Okay. There they go. Not only is partially buried ring shaped artifact, it's a Stargate. It's clearly a Stargate. Roughly 100 meters in diameter. While technology advanced, the structure shows signs of design in progress. So, signs of a design in progress. Suggesting that this was an experimental device or prototype built by the Goa Uld. Uh, Cadet Kepler, Kepler observes that while the structure is much lo too large to transport, it has what appears to be a data storage component, a DHD device. If provided with power, it might be possible to access the data. Kepler, get to it. Hey, Wonder Captain. Um, um, Kepler is fired. Uh, while trying to compensate the unpredictable fluctuations, a sudden surge badly burns Cadet Kepler. Uh, despite their uh, injuries, but you weren't the one injured. Able to capture most of the artifacts, data before a feedback loop fried the alien device. Okay, get back to the ship. Okay, research points. Let me go look at my cargo here. We got, um, oh, nope. Okay. Next mission. I'm going to generator over there. Let's go, um, I guess we're going to head back. This one's faster. This one's faster? Curious about this fella. Whoever built it must have very advanced engineering capabilities. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pretty planet. Okay. Uh, as I suspected, the nearby artifact is a wormhole generator. Object we found allows us to communicate with it. It's the last piece of the puzzles I deduce from your team's investigation of the buried ring. 
Coordinates are encoded as mathematical formulae describing warp space. Knowing the particular formula for a location acts as kind of a key. My hypothesis is that we can put the formula into the wormhole generator. It will create a wormhole to a distant point in space. I saw this TV show. There's a movie, too. We, meaning you, should test this hypothesis by activating the nearby artifact and entering the wormhole. At that point, will be another gateway we can use to return? Best, canary, best case scenario, yes. Worse, you'll end up light years away and have to check back in normal space. You know, we could just try a drone or something. Archaeological team has reported their findings to me. The nearby ring artifact that Dr. Ramos says can be used as a transport gateway was built by an entire entity or culture referred to as the Remnants. Okay. Investigate the endpoint of this gateway. If you find the source of those Red Raider ships, neutralize them as if possible. Top priority is to find other similar Remnant artifacts or technology. Got it. Uh, nope. All good. Uh, I got, I've collected a little bit of stuff. Did I get no titanium though? So I can't do much with what I've got. It's just bulkheads basically. Was that a scanner mark one in a survey lander? I already have a scanner, right? Maybe I don't. Increases their detection range by 20%. Nah, I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, the ancients. Right, right. Okay. Uh, I don't need anything else on here. Let's, uh, let's go that way. My coordinates to the equation points to our, uh, on our map. You want me to go here? Here? Alright. Ooh, it's all spinny. Here we go. Some locations on your star map may require you to zoom out. Okay. Oop. Yeah, space is big. Okay, we projected us through a space time topology like the universe that pulls us into this universe. We solved an equation that redefined the relationship between two points in space. Amazing! All right. So we're a long way away. Let's go do some scouting. I think we're kind of on, we're kind of in open, open world land now. Sounds good to me. This structure is, oh! Generating a uh, negative Higgs, Higgs field. Starcom has experimented with using such principle for long distance travel. We haven't solved the disintegration problem. Oops. Whoever made these accelerators solve the distance. Yeah, the problem. Yeah. I'm back. Okay. Whoops. It's a warp gate. Jump gate. Uh, I'm going to shoot this guy because he's red. And uh, nothing makes me angrier than folks with red ships. I don't even need to talk to them. I just see red ships and I know they're up to no good. Pole got on the 80% there. Come here, buddy. Come here. Take that. He's still alive? Oh, he's still alive. Like, pieces of his ship are coming off, but he's still alive. Neat. Does that happen to me, too? Neat. We got three more coming in. Not have company. We battle leading the targets here. Okay, let's stick with this guy over here, and then we'll come back with those with his friends. Come here, buddy. Don't you run away? I see the color of your ship, and it makes me mad. Take that. Yep. You're more likely to get a speeding ticket as well. Got this guy right here. Okay, what else we got? We got one over here.
God, it's got nice, nice, nice booms to it. That guy's already missing one of his wings. Okay. Uh, well, while we're here, uh, let's investigate this planet here. It's. Let me let me uh, look at my my what was my my mission here. On a region of space infested with local raider ships, they attack us on sight. Yeah, yeah, we got it. I don't think I really have a mission now. Just just go through here and just sort of live. I think is is the mission. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go investigate this this planet over here. Survey team, sure. Record from a ship uh, with the new familiar red and yellow markings is scattered across the desert floor. Besides some aluminum, the debris is mostly unremarkable. Get that Kepler. You feeling a little better now, buddy? Nice little lens flare going on here. Okay, well, let's... Um, can I scan the, the star? No. Ooh, it's hurting me. Okay, let's go uh, look and see what this blue guy is over here. <laughs> My wings are not made of wax. I'm fine. There's a question mark here, and we got a blue thing. And a red thing. There he is. Ooh, another one of those gates, too. What's that? Is that red I see on your station? Well, wrong color choice, buddy. I'm out of this range. <laughs> We're just peaceful traitors. We just like red. Not on my watch. Uh, we can go look at the question mark, or we can jump through the... Let's go through this thing again. Woo! <laughs> Went there a little crooked. <laughs> uh, we'll be, the crew's going to be vomiting after this trip. <laughs> everyone, everyone, hang on. Pass out, <laughs> pass out the barf bags. Oh, there's a bunch of them. All right, everyone, get a hold of yourselves. We gotta, we gotta fight. Where's the other one at? Did we get? Oh, there's two more over there. Ooh, there's a bunch coming in. Let me go pick it up. I think one of my. Oh, my, my, uh, my scanners are all burning. My survey ship. Yeah, if you were a pirate, where, where would you be? I'm gonna die. By the way, I'm trying to... Oh! Run! Run! Woo! 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 A little rough. Can we uh can we get some fire extinguishers up here on the bridge? Man, the Bob Ross looks looks good. This is inst instill some fear in my enemies. Seeing this coming at him, and not let not giving. Oh, ah! Okay, ramming is a thing. Almost got him. Oh, is this guy still buzzing around? 
Come on, fix the ship already. You got him. Ooh, that's good stuff there. That's, that's not normal. Um, that's, that's glowy. Rainbows. Ooh. I got a Raider coil device. All right. Got him. Ooh, there's a blue one and a green one. Okay. I got the survey team. Got some yttrium and some aluminum. Let's get our ship fixed up here. While we're just camping out, though, we got a Raider coil device we can analyze. Uh, we got 25 research points. Okay. I can't, uh, I can only adjust my ship at a station. And there aren't any stations here. Anyone getting any levels yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. They got seven experience, two experience for these guys. Okay. Kepler, even though he's a screw up, he, he still got some things done. Got some points. Okay. New anomalies here. Let's go check out the planets. I even made an emote for this. <laughs> you know. Yeah, space, space fires, man. You gotta watch out for those. It's a small miracle the survey team is able to find an anomaly at all. Your constant sandstorms make landing difficult. Shifting dunes cover and uncover geological features on almost an hourly basis. Anomaly is a half-buried collection of temples and stupas. Within the large structure, pictographs tell a confused tale of pilgrims carrying a dead star and the bones of a god through the f a fast-flowing river to be buried here for the god's return. Uh, Cadet Rhea speculates that a, the dead star may be neutronium. The bones of a god is a bit of a mystery. The team would need to study the pictographs further to make a conclusion. While Ross's sensors detect a large sandstorm converge on the team's location soon. So we can have them search for the neutronium. Or I have them try to decipher the mystery of the god's bones. Um, yeah, let's look for. I don't know what my. I wish I could see my. What we're good at. Uh, I'm not sure what we what we are, what our scores are here. Um, they're both moderate difficulty. Let's go. Yeah, let's go find the neutronium. Don't send Kepler in there. Okay, team spent several hours looking for where this dying star was placed. Eventually, a chance signal on the grav grav gravimeter gravimeter. Reveals a small ingot of the rare material. We got one. Turn the ship. Well, what about the other thing? Okay, ship is fully repaired. We've got um, one of, what was it? These guys. Exotic metal with incredibly high tensile strength used for durable module fabrication. So if I want to go back and like fix my ship, I'm going to find my way down here. Is there a station? Oh, is there a station there too? Wormhole, ge oh, the wormhole generator. All right. Do I have skill levels, you think? My crew has skill levels. And they all kind of add up here, so we gotta remember these. They're they're both they're both two. So we're good at diplomacy. That's our that's our good thing. And when we level up we can we can do that. Uh well, in this sector here we've got a what's that, just a couple stars? There's a, there's a flinger gate. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's just go around here. Bad dude coming in. Come here, buddy. Ooh, he's big. Should really get my ship, like... I need to go to a station and spend this, spend this stuff and get a better ship. I played this, played this before, getting, like, audio levels bright and, you know, all that. I, uh, I died, like, immediately. Because I was at those containers shooting them. And I got too close to the containers, and I shot one, and it blew up. Killed me. Arn, thanks for her popping in over here to the live stream. <clears throat> diplomacy? That is that is our diplomacy. Hey, Arn, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Streamers might like it so much they thought they'd say it again. <laughs> yeah, died in the tutorial again.
Anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. Get him out there. Cool looking planets. Eons ago, some geological events thrust iridium deposits uh, up to the surface. Iridium's good stuff. We needed that for, uh, what was it, the armor? No, the wings, right? The wings needed it. No, it's titanium. All right. Let's see where this flings us to. Hopefully we get a station here somewhere so we can upgrade ourselves. I'm assuming, like, we've got things like, oh, you know what I haven't done anything with? Is my tech. Can we do it here? Research? I don't think so. I think that's only a station thing as well. It'd be nice if we could, like, see where those, see where we can spend those. It's a lunar type planet, I guess. A bunch of things over here under the flinger gate. So, yeah, I guess we'll just keep on bouncing around here. If we find something that, that, um, gives us something else. Got a ship. Hello, friend. Are you here to shoot me? Are you red? Hail. Well, this area is off limits. The unauthorized vessels depart immediately. And maybe we can maybe we can chat. I like your horns. Suggesting a bribe. And a mere surety is payable, but in blood. I warn you again, do not land on this planet. Who are these ships with the red and yellow markings? Very recent arrivals to this region, like the Pikyak Fly, they are annoying in small numbers. In large numbers, they will pick your carcass clean. Okay, 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 okay. I won't land there. I probably shouldn't. Can I scan it? Scan it, right? Yeah. Zog, zog. He's gonna, just going to hang around here and wait for me. I probably shouldn't make him mad. We'll go scan this fella. If he's still there, then we'll see what we can do. He's just picky about that one planet. I don't know if we want to make, like, the first people we meet here mad. This isn't the Kazon. Ooh, so, yeah, what is it? I'm going to detect it from orbit is the wreckage of a Starliner. Impact of the surface destroyed most of our salvage, but we got 15 copper out of it. Um, uh, too badly corrupted for the Universal Translator to form a complete matrix, but it's able to piece together the last few entries. Taking delivery of copper for the um, uh, Ermir to engage their absence. Attacked while en route. Destroyed two ships, but engines now redlining emergency landing. Okey doke. Promotion? Promotion time. Excellent. Uh, okay, so select them and then assign the points. Gotcha. Alex. Alex really likes diplomacy. So, Alex, I'm going to let you... If you want to diplomacy things, you go right ahead. Yeah. Alex, you talk. You tell them about your purple hair and all that. And we're going to send Jennifer Cygnus Lee in as my... I think she may be my tactician. We'll make her my tactician. I don't see any reason to not... To not put it one person good at I don't know, maybe I don't know actually no. I don't know what's best. So actually we'll do a little bit of both. And uh a, a dad joke. Um so there's these uh these two ships. These these um you know what? This isn't uh, well these two spaceships. These two spaceships. That's a space game, it's a space joke. Two spaceships. We had one ship that was filled in the cargo hold had lots of uh, uh of, of red paint. And then the other ship was had a, a cargo hole full of blue paint, and uh, they they rammed into each other. All the 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 crew were marooned. There you go. A lot of buildup for that one, but I think I think it paid off in the end. Kepler, Kepler, um, I want you to tell me about astro science, and. Um, you're the only guy who knows anything about astro science. You're the only guy who knows anything about engineering either. Engineer, maybe we'll make you an engineer. Someone else can do, can do something else. You do engineering. Okay. <laughs> I 
When I get yelled at in chat, that's when I know it's. I know, that's when. That's when I know it's the good stuff. Who's our milk science officer? <laughs> They're in charge of the lattes. Um, oh, look, buddy, I just, I just really want to land here. There's something good there. I just know it. But I don't want to make you mad because I'm afraid I'm going to make like your all your people mad. So I won't, because we're the good guys today. Let's know there's something good there. <laughs> Embarrassing high school photos of him. <laughs> All right, let's investigate this one then. Good plants in this system. Two of them were anyway. Yeah. Okay. Next. Flying it sideways because it's funny. We're going where? We're going back up this way. We're just going to bounce all over the place. I don't know how to. Could we just like. We guess we could just fly to that place. It would just take forever. I'm hoping to find a system or a station here somewhere. Possible, we need to just go back. Which appears to be uh, an intermittent, intermittently used outpost with cramped living quarters and communications array. Let's search it. Nothing really of value, but Instant Kepler notices the waste recycler is jammed with a magnetic memory disk, able to receive recover several log messages regarding mineral transfers and one interesting entry. Good job, Kepler. Expect increased raw material orders from both Nimian and Kiernan factions. I recommend the blank system, easy access, and low profile. Well known to other something. Okay. Okay. Followed by what appears to be another set of gateway coordinates. Let's go there. Let's go there. Does it say where these coordinates are at? Yeah, there. Oh, gateway coordinates. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. Good. Thanks for hanging out, Scold. Have a good one. We'll explore these. We'll see where this takes us. I hope so we can make our way up, up to that, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll go. Oh, we got more red guys. Ooh, lots of red guys. Kind of whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Wrong oh, oh, button! Ah, I'm gonna die because I get the wrong button! Commander's log. I don't feel real good. You guys are kind of tough. I'll try to keep them at range, because I think I have a bigger range than most of these guys. I'm really bad at leading the target, though. I'll get myself a little healed up here. Take that. Well, that repairs go pretty quick. I've been dead a long time ago if it, that wasn't the case. I have my like my my super thrusters on all the time, but I don't see any reason not to have them on. Go survey. Anomaly is a first cluster of soft, opaque bubbles, no larger than one's fist. Cadet Rhea is excited when an analysis shows the bubble contains oxygen gas. They seem to be formed by a bacteria that uses sunlight to break down silicon dioxide. Second symbiotic organism traps oxygen for its own respiration. The organism appears to be sentient. They want to take these organisms for analysis. 
Um, so the crew can attempt to extract one of them, or we can say, don't do it. Don't bring unknown life forms on board. I'm sure it's fine. What could it possibly be? I'm sure it's just like, what, an egg? I'm sure it's fine. As the team attempts to remove one of the bubbles from its regolith base, it erupts. A caustic chemical splatters into Ensign Cygnus Lee's helmet and begins attacking the polyglass faceplates. The crew barely makes it back when the lander to the lander before Ensign Cygnus Lee asphyxiates. Oh, you're not dead, though. You're just injured. Okay. Okay. Good. It's never gone wrong in, uh, in this. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I forgot. I have a new emote that I just got. I just put in there today. Is it in there? I'm not sure if it's in there yet or not. Um, is it in there? Uh, no, it's not there yet. Oh, man, I got a new emote for you, but it's not there yet, so I have to wait. No, that one's there. How come I don't see it? How come it's not in my list? It's my list. Hmm. I don't know why it's not in my list. <laughs> um, That's kind of weird. You know what? I didn't want to use that emote anyway. Yeah, there is the cat and the egg. From um, from our, from uh, our other game. Uh, let's go explore explore this this planet over here. Nothing that space medicine can't fix. That's right. That's right. That's right. A little space medicine, a little techno babble. Everything's fine. Survey team there. Normally detected, detected from orbit. Turns out to be a mild magnetic field generated by concentrated ferrous mer minerals. Okay, let's go search for some mineral deposits. Send Astro Sciences down there. We've got nine yttrium. Okay, good job. Let's get out. Ships over where? Where do you see ships? There's nothing on the scanners. <clears throat> uh, what command you looking for, Wonder Captain? Okay. Apparently I have a longer range. Makes what this looks like would be a really tough fight. Really easy. Here we go. Okay, scan the planets. Alright. Oh, another wormhole generator. Wait, wait, are we back? Oh, we are back. We did, oh, excellent. We made it back. Uh, perfect. Let's, let's go. We're going to stop here. And uh, there's a ship there. We'll uh, we'll go build my ship up, make my ship cooler before we go to the wormhole again. Keep doing that. My ship's pretty tough though, but. We're gonna make it tougher. So Starcom, uh, this is Starcom Unknown Space. Starcom Nexus came out a few years ago, and I th I think there was a a flash game like this. Basically, it's sort of like I don't know if you want to think of it like like a like a Diablo in space. I guess kind of kind of works. Um, there is a story here where like um, we're lost on the wrong side of the galaxy, and we're out help trying to help out find out what's going on. But we just fly the one ship, and I'll show the the ship building up in just a second here. Kind of nine, uh, sixty trim now. I'll show the six the, the ship building here. We do have a crew, uh, which all these guys here, which they'll level up as they as they get better at things. You know, Twelve percent health. Um, my cargo space is here. We'll use tech to go build my ship even better, and we'll see my ship um, build screen in a second. Oh, he just warped in.
So I guess you can kind of think of it as like, you say Star Sector. I guess you can kind of think of it that way, I guess, but you're only the ship in like the combat mode flying around. I suppose w would work. Um, I'm trying to think of what, uh, what another good. There's a, f uh, what's, what's the, um, um, escape velocity is like the original of, of these. Where it's just sort of, uh, open world space, take your ship, fly around, pew pew, kind of a game. Or, uh, advanced asteroids, you know, if you want to think of it that way. Or asteroids with a story. Okay, we got planet there, and then we're out of here. I'm using WASD to, to control. My mouse controls where I shoot. But my um, my WASD is what's flying me. Space Rangers. Uh, yeah, that's... that's I don't know when did that come out. That's a old Detroit too, isn't it? Real old. I don't think I ever played that one, though. Uh, so I guess we, oh, we could go to that one. I'm going to run back. Do we know where my... I have a station here, correct? No doubt down here I have one. So let's go there. Let's head back to my station. So we'll go and don't we have nothing to say here. These guys, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of just in open world mode now. Uh, there is apparently a story, and I uh, I, I was reading some of the stuff on the Steam page that there. I don't know if the whole story's in there now, or this comes out in two months. When it comes out, I'm sure the story's going to be there, but at full release, there's supposed to be a whole story that has an ending and all that kind of thing uh, that you can follow. Um, so we can learn a couple... we got 200 points to spend on making our ship a little cooler. Survey efficiency. We've got Universal Translator, which is which is done. We don't know that tech. Uh, let's get something that, like... Um, construction does what? Increases the max size of our hull by five. Construction of two or three. You know what? Let's build up my ship, then we'll see what we need. <clears throat> so I got all these resources over here. We can use them to build stuff. Uh, like if we want to throw on deflectors or wings, for instance. Wing it. Uh, like we can throw on something like that. And oh, I'm still out of titanium. Um, and, and sort of build on our ship like this. And so my guns, I got the three guns up here. I've got the, the survey lander there. I've got a re my reactor and a battery. And my my bridge and a couple thrusters, and I don't really have much else stuff. Oh, much more stuff we can find more eventually, but I didn't get as much stuff as I was hoping for. I could get another gun. It takes yttrium, which I could do three more of these. No, I could do two more. I could do three more. I could do three more guns. I'm not sure if we have the power for it, but we're gonna do it. Do I put them there, or do I put them like on the side over here? Come on, I want them up there. Yeah. And then <clears throat> we can throw in some deflectors to try to help keep them from getting too smashed up. Um, if we're going to get hit, we're going to get hit the front. How can we do this to where it works like, um, like we want? Oh, I can't afford two of those. Hmm. Can I afford two of these? There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, what's this? This takes two. Uh, are we gonna do? Okay, that's it. That's all we can do. Um, I need something to go in this spot right here just to make it like level out a little bit. I don't have anything. All right. Research increases our max thrust. Engines, two more powerful engines with greater thrust per hex. Yeah, that's 130 for that one. Proof handling would be nice to have, actually. I'll take one of those. Positron code increases damage per unit of energy of our plasma bolts. Increases the range. That sounds more, more better. Okay, plasma focusing. Increase the accuracy of our weapons. The speed of our weapons. Turn rates. I want all these things. Oops. Okay, I want that one. I think I want 
Termite might be useful. Oh, simulation of ship simulation of ship's thermal generation for analysis. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so now we're set here. If there's anything else we want to throw in, I don't think we really have anything that we can put in that would really fit where I want to fit it. So I'm happy with my ship now. We've got lots of guns. <clears throat> Systems nominal, excellent. Okay, uh, so this is this is pretty similar. Um, the the this it's similar in a way to the original Starcom, and it certainly plays the same way. It's just a different story. It looks a little cleaner, and um, they've added in things like crew and all that is is new stuff. Oh man, look at us now. Okay. 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 Now we can fly around. We were just goofing around before. Now we can fly. What do we got in the system? Uh, a whole lot of nothing. What if we just, because we're in a nebula, we can't see it. Autopilots. Main viewer, nav, app. control, left click. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that. Maybe I'm my prettiest ship I've ever made in one of these space games. Young asteroid field probably formed when a moon or planetoid broke up. Got some research points for that. What are you all about? Oh, it's good stuff in there. Old refinery converted to a trading post sits in an old crater. A cluster of furry bipeds greet the survey team and offer a variety of resources. It becomes apparent that their pricing has a healthy margin built in. Ah, like Ferengi cats. Let's see the prices. So you, uh, I, what do you want? Trade currency is aluminum. So if I give you aluminum, you'll give me other things. Okay, I want titanium. I'll take some titanium. Okay. It's a mining, I guess. Man, it's such a difference. One titanium out of that. Four aluminum. Actually, one titanium out of that actually is a pretty good deal. Take that. I think there's going to be more things here. It's weird that this, this comes here and there's nothing. We, we're kind of... Uh, there's got to be something else here. It has to be. Oh, it's incomplete. I thought maybe it meant that I could just go back there and, and uh, question them again. Yeah, we can, just, we can go back there and talk to them again. That's what it is. Weird way of putting it. How many things show up on my my radar here, and they got nothing this time. This is possible. It's just it just goes nowhere. But we. Let's see. Oops. I keep doing that. Um, I guess we didn't really explore this one much, but we can see everything. A couple things there. Raider debris over there. There's a star here we can maybe need to fly to. Isn't this where it was wanting me to go? Yeah, we can just fly. Let's just see if we if anything pops up. Yeah, you're right. Radar is a thing that we can uh, that we can upgrade.
It's also possible. This is this is a beta. A couple months to go still. How do we get from the gravity disturbances like plants? Uh, faster our engines can propel us. The void distortion effect. Oh yeah. That's convenient. Okay. Well, maybe we can we can go to this star over here. Let's see what's in there. Clearly, there's got to be something else in there. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, we want to go to. Let's go to this one. There was anything else here though? Was there? My way. Research trade analysis. Technology will reveal how much of a premium traders are charging. Huh. So we want to go to. Let's go to this one. Go down there, go to that system down there. Reviewing our survey logs, the Starliner wreck has a reference to the Ermir. I have been talking about a bribe. Yeah, I figured that out too. <clears throat> so we're gonna go no no don't put me in no 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 I didn't want to go back in there what <laughs> I was going the other way <laughs> well, that was so much fun I thought we'd go through there again I had a blast Okay, turn around. Make sure we go the right way this time. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe we can go back and talk with our friend. <clears throat> our, uh, our Commodore. Tell him what we found by now. Get away from that thing. Bad dude's over there. Here he comes. I can use my new guns on this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he? Oh, man. Nasty now. Ooh, he got, he's got some red stuff. What's that? That was aluminum 3, aluminum 1 copper. Well, I want to go... I want to go here. Oh, here comes a bunch. Back here. Okay, so now we go that way. We got a, we got a plant over here. Let's go there first, then we'll then we'll bounce over to this spot. Portal does suck. I agree. A lot of question mark text as well, so I'm assuming. Uh, well, I'm assuming that's what that one was that they just mentioned. Is one of those question mark ones that we found that we can now research. Would be nice to get the resources to get another engine on here. Maybe a couple more. We really scoot. Well, that was fun. 
I'm gonna go here, but I don't wanna go fly to the star, so we'll, we'll kind of angle ourselves this way and then around. Yeah, if you like uh, these kind of things, there's, um, what's the, the free one is called, there's a couple good free ones. Um, Nave, N-A-E-V, not, not another escape velocity. Um, um, my mind's gone blank. Um, so I cannot remember the name. There's one, um, ah, I, and yeah, Endless Sky. That, Endless Sky, that's, that's a good one. What's, um, uh, what's, what's, there's one other one I cannot remember the name of. S uh, Space something? I think Red Raider, Red Raider attacks space and there's arrival warp signatures. I think we can see a, I see a tactical pattern marked on your map where I expect our main defense to be. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, over there. Of course. Okay. Well, forget these planets. Let's go over here. There and then up and around. Drox operative. Yeah, that's one that's... That's right. You're right. Um... Yeah, there's there's been there's been a uh, decent amount of these. I I enjoy all of them. Uh, what's the? This was not really very similar, but the Star Traders Frontiers also is kind of a like space, but more turn based. <clears throat> uh, but it, it crawl involves crew and, and managing your crew. <clears throat> a lot of good good space games in the last well <clears throat> last few years, I suppose. Star Valor. That's the one. That's the one I've been trying to think of. Star Valor. That's the one. And then, um, uh, did someone say Drox Operative? Yeah, Drox Operative. And then Drox Operative 2 is the new one that just came out. Okay, so we want to go... This way. We're gonna go over to this Flinger Gate. Nice name. Uh, we'll get to this guy, and then we're gonna go just flying over here. How many Battle Void games are there? I only know the one. I know of Battle Void Harbinger. Is there another one? Battle Void. Oh, because there was one before. Was there one before Battle Void Harbinger? Just, just called Battle Void. Was that the first one? This guy wants to shoot me real bad, but uh, I'm on a mission. I wonder if he'll come through the gate with me. Survey. I missed one. But well, we got a mission now. I, uh, because when you shoot the bad guys, they're like parts of the ship come off. I was a little worried about this, this neck here. Like if we got like, a shot in there and it breaks that, it would break, it would break me, but I haven't lost any pieces yet. I don't think I work that way. Where like pieces of me go flying off, which is probably a good thing. We don't have any other, any other level level ups. We get twenty, and we'll get that. You guys are still level zero. A bunch of cadets here. Whenever I don't think there's a release date mentioned on the Steam page, but when I he sent me the email um, mentioning this and offering to give me the key so I could play it here, uh, he said I think he said a couple months out for early access. I haven't played, speaking of astronauts, I haven't played astro astronauts since, well, in a long time. Anyone played it recently? I was really looking forward to that one and seeing where they took it. I liked, the start was great, and I was eager to see what they did with it. 
two early mobile games, and then Harbinger, and then Sector Siege. And now they're making Space Haven. Oh, I had no idea that I had no idea that was the same people as Space Haven. I had no idea. Maybe I did. Yeah, but I don't. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> cool. Let's go there. Maybe I did at one point, but I, I don't remember that. That um, I thought I'll talk about this before. Battle Station Harbinger or Battle Void Harbinger. That was like the first um, like indie game that I ever played on the channel. Ooh, we got company. We got lots of company. Ooh, lots of company. Ooh, they're big. I'm glad I upgraded my ship. Ooh, the energy's down. Hull's at 72. Little fleas, get them out of here. More energy. Okay, that guy's down. They're all burning like I was before. Got him. I'm not sure if he heals the same as I do. Ooh. Oh, I do have range on him. There we go. Need more power! Ah, 50%! Go faster! We're fine. We're fine. Sure, I'm glad there's heals uh, while I'm out. I'm glad I got a good crew. I'm, I, anything I said about Kepler right before, I apologize. He's my engineer now. He's keeping everything going. Thanks, cold turkey. Stay away from that guy. Range. There we go. All right. Ooh, what's blue stuff? Star control. Of course, that's 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 the other one. How's it going, Atreides? We didn't scan that place, but um, we know they're at the, that place there. We'll scan these and see what we got out of them. Here they come. Sure if there's a reason to target. Maybe it's a missile thing when we get to that tech. Yeah, Starcom Nexus is the original one. Or is the one before this. I I I could be remember, remembering wrong, but I think there was a flash, like Starcom was a flash game. 
I'd be thinking of something else. Originally. So many of them. Get that power back up. Need a bigger reactor with all these guns. Yeah, according to the Steam page, it's it, it, uh, it, it's going to feel a lot like like the original Starcom, uh, but there's just more to it. But it's a different story. If you're familiar with the story from the first one, okay, pick those up. Got a fight here. Come here, friend. Okay. You know what? I don't even want your uh, your your garbage. Okay, hundred percent. All good. We come in peace. Shoot to kill. We'll go ahead and survey this thing. What do they care? There's a star base. We'll stay away from that. It's like he just hit the brakes there. <laughs> I'm going to do this while he's coming in. Finish him up real quick, and then we'll go back. Get the Starbase by itself, if we can. What is that? Wow! Not oh, very nice. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not playing with missiles. You don't get missiles. Survey in progress. All right. Here it goes. Oh. Like a small spaceport from low orbit turns out to be a fully automated manufacturing facility. Tracked robots carry ore from nearby hills and a refinery connected to the main structure. Partially assembled Red Raider drone is being assembled on the launch pad. Kepler. Always Kepler. Kepler investigates. Kepler's going to die here. Uh, Cadet Low. Recon... something. Recon... Uh, something. The area and plans out a path that will allow a quick retreat. But the caution seems to have been unnecessary. The facility oddly has no ground defenses. After gaining entry, the team is able to explore freely. The complex is old, but well-maintained by robots of scarce sentience who ignore a team's movements. From inside, they can see processed ore turn into advanced ship components. With the team's unfettered access to the systems, it seems like it should be simple to shut down production. Yes. Kepler identifies the main controller systems. After a bit of tinkering, the machine stops. With production halted, the team is able to help themselves to the processed ore. Excellent. Ret re reconitor? Recon reconite? Reconitor? That's like the act, like the adjective of reconning. The act of reconning is reconitor. Rake, rake, reconitor. <laughs> Can't quite reach. I don't want to get any closer. He's going to shoot missiles at me. Oh, reconnaissance. Okay. Well, yeah, recon. Reconnoiter. 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 Gotta move. Oh yeah, I should I should I should I should be turning off my, my thrusters because I was using them too much. This is kinda cheesing it. And I'm not one for cheesing. We cheese enough. Oh, I'm, I'm cheesing it now. Let's get in there. Come on, fight me. Let's see what you got. Okay, 
Alright, turn this off. Okay. Sorry, I, che I cheesed a little bit. I was a little scared. I don't know if there's a save in this or not. <laughs> okay, survey complete. Now what? Uh, recovered automated production facility. Yeah, yeah. Deactivated the base seems to have been a source of red raiders. Okay. Okay. We got a transmitter. Let's analyze that. We got some leveling up going on. Okay. James. Uh, James, what are you going to do? You are my only guy that knows how to biomed. So you're my doctor. Okay. You look like a friendly guy. Like you'd be a good doctor. Uh, perks. Perks. You can be my you can be my observation just look at things and then we got mark low who is going to do tactics okay so the only thing we're missing is is xenoculture and astro science is our only stats that we're really missing actually we can see it right we can see it right there anyway, the only thing we're missing is astro science the only thing I'm really low on xenoculture is a two we're very diplomatic, which I think is I think it fits. Let's go scan this. You know what I what I really want to do is I really want to fly over to this planet right here, the or this one, the rocky one unsurveyed, and just just see what it is. There's a gate there. Um, we're gonna fly over there. Oops. Fly over there. Just curious, you know? Why does he have to stay there and, and, and say, like, don't don't enter this. Otherwise, we'll be real mad. If he hadn't said anything, I would have said, okay, fine, I'll leave it. But the way he looked at me with them horns, I'd, um, just too curious, you know? Like, don't open the red box. Well, you know, too late now. How am I going to warp there? Scan this one real quick. Let's go there. Ah! Hey, Saria, thanks. Subscribe for eight months. How you been, Saria? Totally didn't forget to use my prime sub again. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. I always forget my sub, my prime sub. Sometimes, um, you know, what reminds me the most is whenever I go. There's, the, there's the, uh, which I use it on my streams. The little uh, thing that pops up, like. I don't know what it's called. The extension thing it pops up there next to you. Uh, next next to, the, to like the right side of the screen. When I see a streamer that has one of those, then I remember. Which reminded me to put it on my streams. Who's this fella? A derelict, huh? This was unremarkable. Probably a long-distance cargo hauler. Several critical modules have been forcibly removed, possibly as a result of damage. Cramped passages and rooms possessed its operatives were considerably smaller than ourselves. Tight spaces form the, forces the team to move slowly in single file duration uh, during the investigation. Ensign Lowe approaches the engineering section. A previously unnoticed hatch slams shut, cutting them off from the rest of the team. Well, sorry, hello. Radio silence breaks into the team's channel, delivering a crudely transmitted, translated message. Your comrade is now our guest. Place 10 units of titanium into the delivery thing if you wish to unfurl them. The delivery thing is presumably a small receptacle located near the hatch. We can pay the ransom. We can use our diplomacy and say, save them, or we can use our engineering skill and open the hatch. You know what? We haven't used diplomacy the whole time. Let's chat it up. Hey, how about this? After some negotiations, Lowe was able to convince the captors to accept a compromise of 10 aluminum. What, what were they? Oh, they want 10 titanium. Okay. That'll work.
This is what I think about your tin. Your tin. Aluminum. <laughs> okay. I feel better. Oh, there's something else up there. What is that? Hang on. What is that? Oh, yeah. An Avic raid. What is this? What are you? Not literally luminous e not literally luminous ether, but a large number of high energy photons appearing from a d nearly dimensionless point. Curious why they lose their energy so quickly. Yeah, I'm curious too. What? Whoop! 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 Wait! What? <laughs> What's this? What's this? <laughs> Wait a minute. What was my last save? Where am I at? Oh, not down here. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Alright. Fine. You know what? I still have my ten, my 10 aluminum. All worthwhile now. Make this a little more even fight now. Ooh, I'm getting a little hurt here. That's tough. Yeah, I was just curious about the the glowy light in the sky. Blew me up for it. We get this inv this investigation done yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we did nothing there, so we're gonna go. Uh, same thing we did before. I suppose we're gonna fly. I want to go to there. I, I got to see what this thing is all about. So we're gonna fly. Um. I guess we can go there. Excellent. Hey, Avic. Delicious. How's everyone doing? I, 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 I see a, a, a quite the dapper raid. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? We're playing some Starcom Unknown Space tonight. Uh, you may be familiar with Starcom Nexus. This is the next in the series of Starcom games, and um, we're a little bit on fire, but don't worry about it. Engineers are on it. And um, sort of, we, we pick our ship. We, we 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 crafted this thing together, and we're out exploring the galaxy. We got thrown into a bad part bad part of town, and we're trying to find out. Uh, we're trying to save our people, I guess is the uh, the story here. But for the most part, it's kind of an open world kind of thing. Uh, have you not played Medieval Dynasty before? I saw you were playing that. I never played it. Um, I didn't play it either. I saw that it's one of those that seems like um, oh, first time tonight. It's one of those where, like like everyone was playing it. It's typically my sign to like move on to other things, and so I would never picked it up. Um, it looked pretty interesting though, and I, I figured you know later on with some some updates and all that kind of stuff, maybe I'll come back to it and check it out. But it seemed like a pretty neat one from what I saw whenever it first when it first released. And how long ago was that? A couple of years. Thanks again for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Avic? A dad joke? All right, all right. I'll give you a space dad joke. Uh, I don't know if I have a space one, but I'll give you a dad joke. Um, so, um, let's see what I got here. So, uh, do you know what would happen? So, if you watch my D&D streams, I've told this joke before, but I'm going to tell it again. Uh, do you know what would happen if, uh, if the United States... Uh, decided to go and switch over to the metric system. What would happen? Mass confusion. That's what would happen. Back to flying. I'll remember to turn on my thrusters here this time so we can go a little faster. <clears throat> Does that count as a space dad joke? Um, I, th I think so. I think so. If it's not, if it doesn't consist of the United States, it might as well be space uh, from someone. Ah! No, no, no. No, no, don't fly there. Don't fly there. Get out of there. <laughs> we okay, stay away from that. It's in a different spot this time. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> we're good. We met that before, and it was not kind. Like, 30 seconds before the raid, we, we went and we went ahead and said hello to that sparkly guy, and it 
It said hello back, and we blew up. <clears throat> we get a, did we get a shout out? Oh, I'll shout you out. There we go. Uh, I'm playing some map games with chat in the future. What's the name of the game? Uh, it's called Mappa Imperium. It's on uh, itch.io. It's all done now. I gotta. Um, I've been trying to think of maybe doing something, doing it again. It was a lot of fun making that. And I've been trying to decide if I wanted to do something else with it. Um, okay, we've seen this one before. We came across this derelict before. We're gonna squeeze in there, but we're not doing any diplomacy nonsense. We're gonna go use the engineering thing. Ensign Kepler. Kepler. Hatch isn't too difficult. Hot wire open. Apparently the captors considered this possibility and had sensors to detect any attempts to open it internally. Kepler reports the previously dormant reactor has started energizing. Reading show that's clearly damaged and will overload very soon. Uh, Kepler gets blown up a little bit, but he's fine. He's fine. It happens to him all the time. Let's get out of here. There we go. Hey, Quantum Element. How's it going? Uh, we'll leave those scraps. We don't care so much about that. I'm going to go fly to this spot over here. I kind of want that one. That's fine. That one and that one. Yeah, if you do that, uh, Abic, I, I, I want to be there. I want to make sure. I'll keep an eye on you. I want to see that. I enjoy watching other streams of that. There's been a few folks that have done some streams of, of Mappa Imperium. It's fun to watch. For me, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so those of you that came in here late, um, we 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 came in here before. We came to this planet. Now our ship has a uh, has a survey module on it. When I get to a station, I'll show you the building of the ships and all that. And we came across this guy, and he said, "Hey, whatever you do, don't scan the planet or don't land on the planet." And we said, "Okay, we'll be nice." But um, now we've decided we're curious. So um, for copper as payment. Um, summon a fleet to dispatch the pestilence from the region. I'll trust you not to try to land on this planet in our absence. Are you leaving? Okay, well, anyway, we're going to come over here and we're going to land on this. We're going to see what happens. Bear trauma. I have... Is Bear trauma still free? It was free this past weekend. I thought about doing, like, a multiplayer stream of it, but then I got, um, uh, uh, uh I got side, side, sidetracked. Uh, a lander touches down a few hundred meters from the anomaly, an enormous pyramid of unknown material. Penetrating radar shows the structure to be hollow. There is a relief section that could be a door. Not obvious how to open it. Well, my engineering team, Kepler, knows how to do it. Uh, using a high-volt thermal lance, Rhea, Cadet Rhea, is able to eventually carve a hole through the door, if it was a door. Any opening mechanism was destroyed in the process, but in any case, the team is able to enter. I'm not sure what the result means. Like, is it better to have a, a longer or... I don't know. Pyramid's interior is quite rel small relative to the outside. The team finds displays of various relics, suggesting that this was a pre-industrial civilization without electrical or advanced physics technology. We got some enigmatic shapes. Okay. Come on back. I don't know where he's going. All right. So we've got oh we got some rank ups we can do here oh yeah that's right we died um, we can analyze this guy these these shapes on deeper analysis there are movable parts within movable parts down to a remarkable small scale this seem to be rules governing how interlocking shapes can move like a puzzle game okay got some research points this transmitter I'll show you the ship customization here in a minute when we get back to a station okay so I want you to be doctor I think. And uh, Cassie Perks here is going to be my uh, my observation ensign. And then Mark Io, Mark Lowe, whatever, is tactics. So the only thing we're really short on is... Oh, what happened to my guy that was doing astroscience? Did he die? Kepler? Oh, Kepler's there. Kepler, did you... Did, no, he's got a point. Why, why am I negative here? Increases resources mined from asteroids. Huh. I 
don't know. Okay, so having so someone that does biomed reduces our time of incapacity to focus. So everyone has stats, and they all sort of add up as a crew total, which is sort of like our ship total Ahoy there, thing. Matey. Hey, big dog, thanks for the, for the resub. 11 months. Thanks. Um, hmm. Increases accuracy with tactics. Nice. Observation gives us each team skill point increases the distance which we can detect objects in space. Ah, we could have had that before. Engineering is a one because maybe because he's hurt because he was skilled. Maybe because he's hurt he's a little messed up. Yeah, because he's not healthy. Yeah. Okay, so we've explored everything. We're going to go jump into checking out this, uh, this puzzle box. Uh, I think we're going to jump to, we need to go back to station, back to a wormhole. There's one there, but that's going to be a bit of a jump. A bit of a walk. So let's go to the jump gate here. The flinger gate. And go bounce around and get back to the base so we can do some studying and we can also uh, re build our ship up. We can show that off. I want to make a big ship. So we'll see. <clears throat> Yeah, Starcom Nexus is... Well, I, I enjoyed it. It's been a while since I played it, but... Yeah, I, I did enjoy it. And this one's, this one's pretty neat so far. At least the, the shipbuilding is certainly neat. Fling ourselves through here into the next system. And then over, and then we can use the the, uh, the Stargate. This one is, is coming out in a couple months in early access. It's not out yet. I don't think it has a date on the Steam page, but that's what the email said. So sometime end of this year, early next year, I guess. So let's run to the Flinger Gate. Oops. Is that like a, we can put it on here? Like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's pretty big. So we we began. Over here, we jumped in this wormhole generator, which sent us up here. We sort of bounced around these jump gates. And now we're trying to get back to our station, which is down here. There's one up here we, we flew to, which gave us, got us nowhere. Oh, there's those guys again. Yeah, we only see what we've explored. You're right. Get out of here. Yeah, we only, when we started this, we only had the one system. So we've sort of been adding to it as we fly. You've been playing some Maritrauma? That's another one that I, I played at the beginning, but I haven't played since it released like early access or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to how it has, has changed now. Yeah, I was, was going to do that. There, there, there was an event. It's, I think it's over by now. But they had it was free this weekend. I was thought about doing like a multiplayer stream, just messing around with Barra Trauma with it. And, um, and Stardius uh, came out. <laughs> greater greater malatis, metallicity. I don't expect to find in, a pop, in the population in one group. Well, that's, that's exciting, buddy. I'm glad you found something you like. We got bad guys. Let's blast some things. That guy. You guys, you raiders just missed our uh, our starbase attack. Where's that guy going? Get back here, you coward! I'm trying to blast you. There's a decent sized tech tree. Talking about talking about this. Um, oh, bear trauma. I wonder how much we did come across. You're talking about something else, but, but we, we did come across a um, um, uh, um, uh, 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 asteroid belt at one point. I wonder if we could send out if there's drones or something in the game. This is where our I keep clicking the wrong button. I'm sorry. 
This is where our station is, right? Yes. Yeah, so let's go bounce here. Use this Stargate. And come back to our station and tell them the good news. We saved the day. You do not... You, we are the ship. Spongy blub fish. Fantastic name, by the way. Okay. Uh, Commander, uh, you just read Lieutenant Avery's mission report on the Raider Fist Factory. Excellent work. Still an open question as to whether the appearance of these Raiders was somehow caused by our presence. Or is it coincidental to it? Important thing is the threat is less pressing. Again, good work by you and your crew. Good work. Is that all we get? Where's my promotion? Wormhole collapse. Bob Ross wasn't the only Starcom vessel on this side. One of the first ships through the wormhole, the Alethea, has been investigating nearby systems. She's well overdue. I want you to see what the delay is. Bit of a bit of a trek, I'm afraid. You may want to optimize your ship for deep space speed. Lieutenant Milton has some suggestions. You're saying it's gonna be like a like a Star Trek? Okay. Okay, shipyard. So I'll show this off. So we I built the thing basically from scratch. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save this design as the Bob Ross uh, two. And but we can I'll, I'll pull this one up so we can see it. So there's all the all the bits we want to go in. We want to add in an engine. We just pop it on wherever we want. We want some wings. Sure, throw a wing over there. We want another wing in here. Can I? How, what was the flip button? Did anyone see that? That's kind of weird. I don't know how to flip it. Uh, I don't know how to flip it. So, <laughs> well, we won't. We won't put a wing over there. Um, there is a lateral thruster. If we want to throw that in on on here somewhere. Uh, X X is the button. Okay. There we go. I thought I hit that. Uh, we want armor. We can throw throw armor on here somewhere. We've got different bulkheads and weapons. There's my guns. We can throw in like that. Uh, connectors, and utilities. There's our our surveyor that we had on on my ship, the lander, um, and our engines. And we'll learn new stuff with research over here, which I've got 230 research to learn now, and entropic shunts. Increase the rate at which module dissipate heat to neighbor and it radiate into space. Is that a thing I should be worried about? It said to worry about it said to get better engines, so maybe we should get more powerful engines. Yeah. Get that one. Okay, you asking me if I played the Floodland demo? Uh Dr. Rom is interested in the box. So the, a lot of those we we picked up like these little items, artifacts while we're flying around and my crew investigates them. And those sometimes spawn new missions. Uh, penning cage increases our max energy. Yeah, you know what? That's cheap too. Is that what we want? Or do we want something? Additional boost the plasma bolt speed. Yeah, maybe we should do this one because they're talking about going fast. So that one, and then the bearings increases turn rate of turrets. I don't need that. I'll take the cage. That's what me to collect two items at once. Oh, hey, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, I played Floodland. Uh, I, I I have a second channel that I usually just use for D&D. &D. I threw it over there um, because I've got so many. I've got so many. i got quite a bit of, of a backlog with all the games, especially with the next vest. Thanks, uh, Kimi? Kumi? Thanks for following. So I, I threw it over on the other channel. I'm putting a few videos over there that I, I just getting too much too much of a backlog, so I was trying to throw some things over there. Um, I'm going to pull up my, my other guy here. And do we learn any... Oh, we do. We have, a, we have a large battery now. And we have an engine mark 2. We take 27 gold to make that thing. I don't know how much gold. I can't build it. I can put on... I can put on two more engines, though. Can't I? I'm short... Oh, I'm short two gold. Well, I can't have three. I will do that. Um. Uh, it's called the uh, uh, Dungeon Nook. Is my name my channel for that? Wings uh, increase of vessel's speed in deep space. Yeah. I want one over there, and I want one over here. Okay. Looking like a nice mean ship. Uh, we can put some. We can put a deflector in there, maybe to fill that spot. I can put another gun in. Uh, I think what I really need though is more, maybe more power. No, I don't think I have the, I don't have the resources for it. So let's just take this deflector. 
throw it in there. Just so we can even my ship out. Plus it puts a, a, a deflector in front of my battery. Uh, heat is fine. I guess our stuff is, is away from each other enough to where it doesn't cause a problem. Um, I think that's it. We can do connectors and things and add all kinds of stuff to it. But I think that's... I think it's good. Like if we, I guess if we had too much heat, we could like put a connector here and put my weapons up front so it would disperse some heat maybe a little bit better. Uh, do we want another gun? I don't think I can handle the energy output of another gun. So let's just do that. Okay. Check out the star system that the uh, Alethea was investigating. That's my mission. Okay. Uh, where's that at? Alethea. Over there. I guess we're just going to fly there. Okay. Ouch. Okay, time for deep space flying. Oh, it's good with the three the three uh, thrusters. Yeah, I like it. I think we are moving a lot faster. We're moving at 70, 80, 82, 82, whatever. Nice looking chip. I made that all myself. And if something happens to it, I'll be real put out. It is, it is really easy to make a nice looking ship in this game. I like it. And we can, I just put in these little armor things here just for fun, but gives it a nice, uh, nice insectoid look. It's a clack on ship. Those of you Master of Orion people. Ooh, moving 115. Okay. About halfway there. So we'll we'll uh, we'll buzz in here and see what we can find. We're finding a couple more stars. This is it is big. Look at look at that. I wonder if it takes this all up. That's the plan. Avoid drag effect. The nearest celestial thing is too far away. Maybe a rogue planet. You say rogue planet? You say? I can't really scan anything though. Maybe they mean it's not the star though. It must be a planet around here. Should we should we like investigate? Let's go to that planet first. Let's see what that's all about. So when she's talking about like the the device, that is here, and it, it basically they just like we analyze it, and then a little while later we they tell me something about it, and we get some research points out of it, which we use to make ourselves cooler. My my speed is is going back up. Void effects you can see there. So I guess that is telling us there's something big nearby. Which clearly there is. There's a wormhole generator there. Good. I'll have to make this trip again. Like the stars, I was afraid we were going to have to go back to the long way. Let's scan this planet. Nothing? Okay. Um, that's just pointing to the star. Let's go over here. Uh, we can put tags on them. That's about it. Hey, the uh, Alethea was reported investigating. You're investigating over here somewhere. Let's inspect you. Some survey team out out there. Old impact crater Ensign Rhea notes that the lack of erosion forces forces bellies its true age. Uh, these jag up thrusts will take hundreds of millennia to wear down. At the center of this crater was a recent excavation site. Its familiar layout suggests the Starcom survey team excavated whatever was there. Okay, come on back. So they've been here. Got it. Check out this one then. Little anomalies there. Uh, our was pointing over here. Let's investigate over there. Uh, 
I don't know how. I think I think my people just get experience. We've been kind of gaining as it goes, but I'm assuming it just kind of pops in whenever we do a mission. Kepler, you really need to get healed up, buddy. Uh, good, he's back up to three engineering and one of the... Oh, no, no, he's at those, but not there. Okay. Yeah, we need him for our astro science. Which does what? It helps us get more uh, stuff out of asteroids. I don't see anything, though. Let's buzz around here a little bit. I'm, I'm curious about that, that whole uh, thing about the rogue planet out there. Oh. Didn't see those. Yeah, I think we're going to run down here. She said it pointed me to the star, though. Last time it looks like right where it was pointing me. Let's get a little closer to the star. I'm not go into the star though. That's, that's dangerous. Anything, anything buzzing around here? Any lost friends around here? Just check out the star system. All right, well, I'm going to go down here. We know they were at that one planet. It's a mystery. Hmm. There's a wormhole generator here so we can... Or, or just... There's no jump gates on this, this side of space. I wonder how much... How fast? I guess the, I'm assuming the bigger engines that we couldn't afford. I guess they make a big difference. We can we can zoom through here a little bit. We need like a, a bit of a, a, a speed up button. So we got looks like three planets now. Yeah, we we seem to find pla oh we got four of them now. Planets we can see. Pretty quickly. Yeah, no, yeah, fuel is infinite. Who's this fella? Hello. Who are you? Oh, the Alethea. This is Captain Dolson, commander of the Alethea. What can I do for you? Uh, commander, or Commodore says you're overdue at uh, Seleno. We're out here to look for you. My apologies, our reactor recently started experiencing problems. Do you need assistance? No, I'm sure engineers can handle it. Let, uh, the, let the commander know we will be underway as soon as we're sure the problem's fixed. Only a dinner day or so. Did you find anything interesting out here? Nothing terribly remarkable. We did uncover an interesting object, but we haven't been able to fully study it due to our reactor damage. Transfer it over to your ship. Maybe you'll be able to learn some, something from it. You want me to? Do you want to borrow Kepler? He's pretty good at fixing things. He usually hurts himself, but he's pretty good at it. So you gave me what? Intricate triangles. Oh, another one of these like puzzle boxes. Close to zero resistance, conducting all of the ship's free energy through it didn't even make it warm. It is suspicious. Like, why would you send me out here just for her to like dawdle around? I don't know. I don't buy this. Let me talk to you again. I'm gonna shoot you. She's up to something. Definitely up to something. Let's go see what's down here. We got two planets we'll check out here. I'm really curious about the whole rogue planet thing it was telling me about. We need to go back and look. They're coming back quick. Normally, a difficult spot from the air. The lander makes several passes before 
and some perks spot the target. From a distance, it looks like an abandoned outpost that's gradually being erased by the elements. Up close, it's apparent the structure is in good condition and its surfaces have been camouflaged with the color and texture of the surrounding rock. Search of the platform reveals that it was hastily abandoned, possibly quite recently. Most of the useful equipment has been removed, but an unusual object directly connected to some of the tools of unknown purpose was left behind. An iridescent globe. Iridescent is never good. Anything iridescent, always bad stuff. Ability to change the color properties of certain hard materials. I'm gonna, like, color my ship. Yeah, look at them. They're flying in here quick. What do you want now? I see you. Flying around a lot for a broken reactor. I don't understand. You're up to something. Your ship's a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> okay, well, we found him. I guess we'll go back and tell him. Uh, let's go to... Man, it was right over here. Well, I'm just... We're going to go there. Get out of here. I don't trust him. Mission just go back and tell him about it, right? Yep. Let the commander know. It's C D R E Commander. Is that what it's short for? Is Commander spelled R E in not American English? Or is it Commodore? Or is it some other name it could be? I was thinking it's Commodore, but when we were talking to to uh, her, she said CMD, as in Commander. CDRE is Commodore. All right, all right. Uh, no, we can't investigate stars. We can get, we can get. If we get too close to stars, they hurt us. We can't send our survey survey teams to them. So we couldn't before, but we've done. We did the mission. So we're gonna go, we'll jump there, and, we'll, and then we'll back, bounce back to our home. I think there is a lot of space out here that doesn't have wormhole generators, so there's a lot of flying around here. I, th I, I like the uh, the crew element; it's pretty neat. It, it does a good job of of like um, personifying the people, you know, rather than just being crew, which is what Starcom Nexus did. I think it's already, oops. I think it's already set up the right one, but just in case, we'll make sure. I'm gonna go there. Okay, back to the Commodore. Yeah, 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 no, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine for one day. You know, I was just a, was just a small little scout ship and they sent me out here. I don't know what I'm doing. Milton, I've taken a look at the iridescent artifact you found. It's actually I've seen something quite like, or something like it, at Gemini Shipyards back home, used for custom coloring of luxury vessels. Ooh, I can color my ship. I've sent the details over to your lab. Uh, research chroma plating. You'll be able to customize your ship color scheme. Oh yeah. Why would it be on a hidden outpost? It doesn't seem particularly useful to camouflage in space, since it just changes color and does nothing for the heat signatures. Maybe fashion conscious raiders. Yeah, they like red. Um, we talked about all this stuff before. Speed up in deep space travel. Remove, remember the basics of the truly and drag metric. Uh, yeah, I do, but my first officer needs a refresher. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So as we get away from stars, it goes faster. No, uh, yeah, I got you, you. Stay out of that. Okay. So that's all good. Um. Yeah, yeah, we we found we found them. The reactor's broken. They're flying around for some reason. Well done, you and Bob Ross have proven quite capable. But it's a relief to know we still have the Alethea. All right. Uh, about that. Oh, you know, you're right. You did say that, and I, I I completely dismissed you. Who said that? Uh, Savage Soul. I apologize. You're right. Talk to Doctor. What's your face? Yeah, I find a puzzle puzzle object inside the sealed pyramid. What do you make of it? 
Universe has enough mysteries to keep my interest. I don't have time for toys and curios. You know what? She's a jerk. If it's really confounding you, give it to Milton. I recall he's entertained by that sort of thing. I don't like her. Meditations Commander, what can I do for you? Uh, I got this puzzle box, the Dr. Rama. Uh, did she have She meant it as a jab, but it's true. I'm quite fond of puzzle pe uh, puzzles. When I graduated ship design, I'll take a look at it. In my spare time, of course. Yeah, you know, throw that in there. Uh, okay, so we've got... We still have enough gold to make a better engine. I could go trade with those folks to get, get that. Uh, we needed some uh, uh, ir iridium for something. It would be kind of nice to have a bigger engine, a bigger battery. I don't know where I'd go. 200, 200, ti 200 titanium. We have eight. Never mind. Could do another, another gun. Th throw it. I don't know. I don't know where I'd go. We can load this thing up with guns. Um, each like whole unit that I that I make, like if we were to like fill this thing in, I'll put one there, and you can see we got I got 109 hit points. Now I have 124 hit points. So just having a ship kind of filled out, it's going to give you that. Um, this is 14 hit points. This is 15 hit points, and it reinforces a little more. But we could kind of fill in our gaps if we wanted to. Like this thing doesn't do us any good. But if I remove that, it's gonna remove everything, and I don't really want to mess with that right now. So um I think uh we don't have any missions anymore, do we? Let me, let me ask you about the wormhole classified. Why is it classified? A whole new universe is a major discovery. We should want all Starcom divisions as well as the civilian sector studying this space. Okay. Uh, I don't like talking to you, but what did you learn about our trip through the gateway? It's correct in believing it served a similar purpose to the wormhole stabilizers that Starcom constructed. Not powerful enough to create a wormhole in our universe, but it can create local bridges. Okay. Yeah, don't you guys already have these, these techs? Physical laws of the universe are very subtly different from ours. Vacuum, okay, so things are different here. Gotcha. Um, okay. Got some points to spend. This would give me more hole size, but I'm not a problem with that. There is customization of hole plating colors. Yes, please. Okay, okay, where's that? Where's that color scheme? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Uh, what do we want? We don't want red. Red's the bad guys. We hate the bad. We hate red. Um, let me know red ships in my... Oh, it's all we can do. We can't actually move things. We can do a little bit of smoothness. Um, let's do like some like black there. Underplating is what? Okay, the guns or whatever. Maybe like... Um... Purple and gold. I kind of do like the yellow. Maybe something like uh, I need some some something light up over here. You know, that, I'm not not opposed to that with smoothness. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see the shininess of it. Oh yeah, it was shine. It needs a shine. My ships are already blue though. I don't think I want. More blue ships. We can be like a bumblebee. All bl <laughs> That's my ship. That's it's pretty stealthy if you ask me. No one's gonna see us coming. Okay. <laughs> um. I like that shine it's got. It's good stuff. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's save this thing. This is this is Bob Ross, yellow. Okay. I guess I don't have the tech for these. What did it take for that big engine? It took twenty-seven gold, and I've got eight. Oh, it only takes five for each of these things, so I've only got eighteen. Man. Uh, lateral thrusters might be kind of handy. We could turn faster if I had titanium. So we don't have a mission right now. Okay, I'm going to do one more thing. 
before bedtime. I'm gonna go fly over here. They said something about a uh, um, a dwarf planet. It's gotta be something good, so we're gonna go check that out. Ooh, look at that ship. It's like a giant angry block of cheese. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna keep an eye on my void effect. I think my head might be in the way of it. Right there is a void effect, and um, that kind of tells me if there's something if there's something nearby. Tells me if there's something nearby. Um, if it goes, if it goes down, the higher it is, the higher percentage means there's nothing here. But if it goes down, that means there's something around. If there's something around here. We saw that there was something, something good out there. So we'll see. I'm, I'll, uh, I'll keep my face off for a minute, which I will. I'll just do. Well, still 100%. Hmm. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. So somewhere around here, it's going down. I think. Let's go look, uh, I don't know, this way. Kepler's finally fully healed. Ooh, we're going this way, it's going down, going this way? No, no, no. Okay, this is affecting it. I think that's all it is. Oh, 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 we got something. What is it? Ooh, what is that? This must be the source of the gravitational distortion. Scanners show it's hundreds of times denser than a solid neutronium. That's no moon. Hello? Polyhedral artifact. Massive artifact has apparent point of access, requiring special connector to close the circuit. The triangular artifact obtained from the uh, Alethea appears to match it perfectly. Inside is a massive space. Is massive a massive space that seems even larger than the exterior? It's a TARDIS. Despite expanding in all directions, every path seems to converge at single points. A small platform at the center of an unsettling geometry. So its center is a black sphere. As the team approaches, the structure seems to shift in impossible ways. It's God, it's God's D8. <laughs> so suddenly all the shapes seem to align perfectly in every dimension and the sphere begins to expand. The team hastily retreats, cowards, but every path leads back inwards. Just as the sphere seems to engulf the lander, the craft and the team find themselves back outside the structure. Now don't give me that, there's going to be more than that. I can't even shoot it. Build up of energy inside here. Oh. It's getting glowy. Look what you did. Kepler, was that you? You blew it up. Discharge a massive amount of energy. We gained 100 points. Discovered a half a dozen previously unknown particles. It's doing it again. Back it up. Is he just going to keep on doing it? Yeah. Sounds neat. Okay. I suppose we go back and talk with somebody else. Discharges seem harmless to us. It's mostly particles that don't interact with baryonic matter. No idea what it's actually doing. Doesn't hurt me, huh? You to like shoot me inside here. Okay, this is my first officer's. Well, notes, I suppose. Okay, we'll go back and talk with uh, what's her face? It's probably something to do with that artifact we found, also. Okay, let's go to this one. Get out of here.
Okay, we'll bounce back. We'll see if they have something to say to us. It is my bedtime. I'll have to call it a day here in a minute. But, um, I want to see where this goes. This is pretty neat. I'm into it. Yeah. I wasn't sure, um... I, 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 I remember playing Star, uh, Starcom Nexus, but it's been so long I forgot kind of how it played. And I uh, wasn't quite sure what we were going to be getting into, but I'm, I'm pleased. Okay, so let's go... Whoop. Here. Thanks. M? M7? We want to go there. So we'll have a chat with our commanders here. Oh, Rama. So you taking a break from blowing stuff up to make an actual interesting discovery. Oh, Rama. The uh, the D8, if our artifact is activated, seems to be discharge, discharge energy energy on the scale of the solar flare every, every 14 seconds. With minimal ionizing radiation. New elements with particles un unveiled are quite intriguing. Does this mean you're going to be less condescending? <laughs> condescending? I'll be less condescending today. If you want me to be a friendly, be friendly tomorrow, make another discovery that changes our understanding of physics. Uh, what is it? Uh, way beyond our technology, with a brief amount of time I've had with the data, I've come up with two hypotheses. First, it's some kind of beacon. Exotic particles would produce would be unmistakable at any distance. Second, the high energy discharge is not its intended purpose. Some other missing component or entity is expecting to make a use of a massive amount of energy with the expected consumer absent who discharges the excess energy in a way least likely to cause damage. Okay. Milton? Oh, you found a little puzzle, right? Not a puzzle. Not simply a puzzle. Um, just like you don't simply walk into Mordor. The complex rules governing the movement of the shapes are a way of encoding information. It's done in a quite clever way. Solving a particular shape requires proving, um, providing proof of knowledge in a form. What's what a knowledge? That's where it gets really interesting. The initial configuration of the puzzle, which is really more of a codex, reminded me of the equations Rama uncovered to control the gateways. I tried solving the puzzle for the gateways we know about, and out popped a new equation. Since your coordinates to your first officer. I'll continue investigating the toy. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Question is, do I go to bed or do I go investigate this next spot? Where is it? Over there? Well, we, we got a warp gate there, so we'll, we'll warp gate over there. We'll see. We'll, we'll just take a peek. Take a peek. We want to go to this one. What else is out there? What is th oh, those are stars. There's a gate there, gate there, and all kinds of, of um, other stuff. Just one more mission. The survey team. Structures detected from orbit are an array of well-maintained moisture collection pylons supplying a very small colony. Ah, oh, Luke is there. As the lander approaches, several of the insectoid inhabitants excitedly rush out to greet the team. They relay that their collection pylons have been collecting less and less water recently. If they cannot find a problem, can't find the problem, their situation will become dire. Uh, Rhea thinks they can uh, they can find the problem. Uh, although there's a, they can fix it, I guess. Um, small risk they might damage the pylons due to unfamiliar technology. Well, you know, um, uh, put Kepler in there. Just spending considerable time in analyzing the pylons, uh, Ensign Rhea sheepishly admits that there are too many elements of the design they don't understand. An attempt to repair would likely reduce output or even stop it entirely. They agree that even the current reduced water production is better than none at all. I mean, Rhea, you're worse than Kepler now. Can I level you up? No. How come Rhea's doing all the all the work now? You're my doctor. Shouldn't shouldn't the engineer be going down there? Okay. Oh, hello. You're new. Greetings, smooth, unfamiliar creature. 
you are in Kiernan, Kiernan space. Explain your presence. I'm Commander <laughs> Commander Captain of Starcom. Uh, look with a name. Or peaceful explorers from a distant region. We recently learned uh, from our agents that our rivals, the Nim Nimian, may have sent a spy into our territory to probe for weaknesses. It's a strange thing to say to a stranger. Perhaps the timing of your arrival was coincidental. That's why you're saying it. Uh, no, no, we're not spies, I promise. No spy would readily admit the fact. Okay, we are spies. Unlike the Nimian, we do not attack without good reason. If you give us no cause to believe you're no, you are spies, we'll treat you with peacefully. Uh, what about these wormholes? Who are you that your culture does not have many stories about them? They are the last still functioning remnants of the fallen empire. Now the empire is gone and her vassals jealously protect their gateways that controls their space. Who's this fallen empire? For eons, the empire kept peace within the civilized regions. Technologies were like sorcery to the young worlds. The empire fell, reasons that are as mysterious as their artifacts. Now its former vassals fight over its remains. Your question reveals much about you. Your species must have only just reached the stars. Be careful not to display your ignorance too openly. You'll be taken advantage of. Okay, thanks, sir. Do you have, like, a station around here I can go stop at? Let's go. What are you doing out here? I like the color of your ship, buddy. Do some scanning. Yeah, this one comes out in a couple months. The planet is pockmarked with ruins of a pre-industrial civilization. Appears to have died out due to natural changes in their sun's energy output. What's interesting is that the culture do, the culture shows signs of regular alien contact and even trade. Didn't progress behind the late Bronze Age. Okay, interesting. The gods dropped their swords and left their chariots and headed at once for the sunken islands. When a caravan of, of merchants came upon these, they were astounded by what they found. To the tribes, they went upon the chariots and told them, Look, we are gods. Fear and worship us. I've seen this movie too. The tribes knew only gods could wield these weapons. Their new gods spoiled the worshippers and rained fire on the doubters. The god emperors ruled for an eon until they have forgotten they were not gods. Okay. Okay. This one looks pretty cool. Things to survey out here. Unusually powerful seismic seismic event has changed has created deep localized fractures on this planet's crust. Numerous shafts provide access to deep lava tubes. Uh, lots of molten copper in there. So Ensign Rhea, only person who does any jobs around here, thinks they can cut precision holes with the mining lasers to pool the copper where it can be easily harvested. Are you sure about that? You said that before, and you didn't do it so well. Plans to went to Arista for a reward. Sonar mapping of the tubes will allow them to, to find cooled copper. Let's go with engineering because astrosciences we're not very good at. Operation is a disaster. Uh, the pre-cut channels are too wide, and the molten copper floods in so quickly it threatens the team. I think, of all these jobs, I think we've gotten one success. <laughs> My crew is the worst. <laughs> so you're going to be hurt now? Who's that? Yeah, hello. Uh, not too bad, though. Oh, level up. Uh, Alex, you were my di my diplomat. Uh, Rocket, thanks for following. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep putting more diplomacy into you. Alex is good at diplomacy. We got Cygnus Lee here, who I was putting as tactics. I'm going to put you in observation, though, I think. Oh, no, I have an observation person. Let's let's keep you kind of split. Tactics and observation. That keeps those up there. Uh, and then Kepler. I want you to be engineering. You're my, you're my only astro science guy. You're also my only engineer. I'm going to do that. If uh, Rhea ever levels up, I guess we'll mix them up. I don't have any... I'm out of water. I can't hydrate. I'm sorry. I'd love to. I'm thirsty. Yeah, and those are... Oh, that's unscanned. Let's go over there. You, uh, you follow me there, buddy? There's a gate that way, and there's a gate over this way. 
Let's see where this takes us. We'll go scan this planet anyway. Has been enough time for another dad joke? Um. Well, um, how many narcissists does it take to screw in a light bulb? And one, the narcissist holds the light bulb while the rest of the world revolves around them. There we go. Oh, no anomalies. Oh, man. The anomaly was that joke I just told. Um, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll pop into here. No hydrates. None. I got no water. You just reminded me how thirsty I am. That wasn't very good. Any was it? Wasn't very. It was. That was a terrible one. I know. I know. Um, what's what's in this system? A greenhouse planet, huh? Okay. Okay. We'll go check out the greenhouse planet. Then we can call it a day. Then 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 we call it a day. I promise. I promise. Ooh, there's a bunch of ships over there. What is this? What is all this? Oh, more of you? You want to talk? You just out flying around. Like, you seem to be hanging out this planet quite a bit. What are you? Ice planet. I know. Okay, we'll go to the garden planet after this one. A fortified structure is built into the mountains of this icy world. Is that Hoth? So, gosh, this approach, the team is easily able to gain access. Reinforced main doors have been blasted apart. Yeah, it's Hoth. Once inside, the team finds a deep shaft leading to an underground vault complex. The shaft was pu punctuated with a series of doors also forced open. Yeah, Vader was there. Lowest level is chaos. From what remains, the team guesses this is some kind of research facility. Most of the equipment has been destroyed, but in a side chamber that the Universal Translator identifies as secondary containment, they find a quantum container. You know it's good because it's a quantum container. If it was garbage, it would be a, a, a container. It's empty. It's itself. It's a marvel of, of engineering. When closed, nothing can escape. Not even information. All right, the garden planets. Then we're done. Okay. Don't let me get sidetracked again. A lot of these folks around here. I'm surprised there's not a station around here. Good, good. We get a good a good finale here with a garden planet. Let's just live here. Scanner indicates multiple anomalies scattered widely over the planet's surface. The team picks up picks one and lands in a nearby open field. The uh, reading is indistinct, and there's nothing obviously unusual. Several team members report a vague sense of unease and anxiety. Well, let's go search the area. Let's succeed once. As the team searches, their complaints of unease and disorientation increase. Just as they're about to abort, uh, Ensign Perks makes an interesting comment. There are slight variations in the background EM radiation. These variations would be dismissed as statistical noise, except they seem to correspond with invisible lines of the planet's surface, which they jokingly call ley lines. Ley lines? Three crew members have advanced in rank. Good, good, good. Rhea, uh, I mean, you're doing all this, like, engineering for some reason. I'll get you a point in engineering, but I want you mostly in mid. And then Cassie Perks, you're my observation person, which I've got a good observation person already. Let me, let me move you. Mm. I don't have Xenoculture over there. Let's, let's do that. And then Mark here is going to do... I have a tactics person with, with Jennifer up there. So you're going to start learning some astro science. There we go. All right. That, that is where we, is where we call it. Yeah, that's it. That, that's what we call it. So, thanks for hanging out tonight. 
I'll be back tomorrow night. We'll play some more things. Uh, I don't have a plan when playing tomorrow night. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe play some more with the last starship. Uh, I, I, I think they're doing more to it. So I'm going to have to check that one out as well. We're going to go out in, in, in style here. We're going to go blow some folks up. So let's get to fight. Let's get a proper fight here at the end. I got prop. Oh, he's got green stuff. Oh, he hurts. Oh, he's got lots of green stuff. Wow, oh, look at them all. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, man. Man. They got me good. Bob Ross was lost while on a routine mission. The cause of incident is still under investigation. No, they don't need to investigate that. Go out with a bang. That's right. That's right. Ship screenshot. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. This is like Thumbnail Maker. Angle the star. Look at that. That's perfect. Can I change my, um... Oh, we can change the planet? What? How do I change my ship, though? For posterity. Oh, the, oh poster posterity. That's the word. Uh, um, we could, like... I don't know. Let's, I wish I could turn it. Neat. It's funny that this is <laughs> this is a thing. Okay, there we go. So Starcom Unknown Nexus, or Unknown, sorry, un, star, Starcom Unknown Space, Nexus is the original, is coming out. Same folks that made Starcom Nexus, uh, which which came out in 2019, and um, I think it went over really well. I think, yeah, they they stuck with it for a long time, and it had sort of the same building module thing. And you can see it's a pretty similar game. This is the old the old one. Um, this is a whole different story though. And clearly things have been updated. The faces are the same still. But, um, um, yeah, so we got our, our, our new one coming out here. I don't think it has a date. Just what I saw was, was sometime later this year, a couple of months or so. There we go. Uh, mechanics remain similar. Not a direct sequel. Brand new story. Yeah. Neat. Hmm. Look at that. Cool. I'm sold. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I played the original one, and the dev just emailed me. Uh, actually, emailed me today, and I couldn't resist. We gotta check it out because I like the other one so. I'm always up for a good space game. <clears throat> I'm on some lists, basically. So thanks for watching, and thanks again for hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow night, and we'll play some other things. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I, anytime I say what I'm going to play, I end up playing something different. But I noticed there was an update to this. And so we might try out some more of The Last Starship and come back and see what we can do with it. But no promises. No promises.